So I've done a four, four stack. My tongue's gone again. I've done a four image photo stack. So Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to another adventure. Today we're uh, starting off this morning. Let's come back over here to the light. You can't see me. That's better. Uh, red zone. Um, now we're starting off this morning at uh, Ribblehead Viaduct. This is my first uh, vlogography adventure weekend and uh, we've got a few people here. We had three people stop with us last night. Uh, Paul, Darren and Steve. I'll put some links below for them at the end probably uh, if I don't pop a few of their images up as well, which I'm planning on doing so if I can. And we've been welcomed by Mikey. You know old Mikey is on everybody's vlogs and he just can't help himself. He's got to get in there. <laughs> well then. But bright and early. <laughs> He's here. Bright and early. So yeah, all good. So we're just going to hang around for another five minutes, see if anyone else turns up um, and then we're going to make our way up, see if we can find something to take a photograph of. Hey, up, my red lights have gone out, you can't see me. Um, so yeah, the sky, well, it's looking a bit overcast, but I can see some cloud definition in this camera, so there must be something going on. So we're going to make, a, make our way up. It's a bit squidgy, we've got the wellies on and uh, we'll see what we're going to get out of it. Um, catch up with you in a bit when it's a little bit lighter. Don't video me following me out. <laughs> All makes good B-roll. So that's an extra 50 subscribers. <laughs> I'm coming out of you, but I don't want to slip myself. <laughs> I know the feeling. We're following Mikey's lead. No, he's like, like a mountain goat. people go down there uh, and take the kids down potholing but yeah we're all talking about it now and no no not appealing go to the top of any mountain or any cliff but not down not down a hole in the ground Whew. right well we've made it to our first kind of location we're up on this uh, bit of limestone path it's only a small piece but it certainly gives you a good taste of what's up there on the top um, which we may be heading over there tomorrow which will be in the next vlog um, today I'm going to do a bit of vlogging for you um, show you what the group's getting up to it's quite good we've got five of us down here so it's quite a nice little team um, we're looking over to Ribblehead there's a viaduct there quite a big uh, man-made structure it is and all these leading lines, you've got leading lines everywhere you look. There's one here, there's one over there. It's just perfect. It, uh, you know, you can't not find a little composition. The only thing is, you've got to be a bit careful on your feet. Um, these things can be a bit slippy. But yeah, so far, all good. It's staying dry. We haven't got any colour. The sun's due up in about five minutes, so I'm going to have to get my act together and get my camera out. But um, I don't think we're going to get any colour, but we are, we are going to get a photo of some kind. So I'll uh, get my camera out, get myself sorted, and then get back to you. Okay, well we've got the camera out. Um, <clears throat> got it perched on the sandstone, or the limestone, shall I say? I keep calling it sandstone. It's not sandstone, it's limestone. <clears throat> got it balanced on the tripod across a couple of the rocks. Uh, going for a bit of a simple classic, looking straight down towards the viaduct. Uh, picked myself a couple of leading lines. I've come up a little bit higher than a couple of the other group. Paul's up here as well. I've got a similar sort of idea using probably the line leading round over to the viaduct. Um, shooting pretty wide somewhere in the region of about 20 mil. 
um, which is giving me what I want. I've put the viaduct up on the top thirds. Um, I've got uh, Ingleborough over in the top right hand corner, uh, top left hand corner, should I say, even. And uh, I'm using these leading lines then from the crags down here. And you've got some nice little green foliage going on as well. So it's just pulling you into and pulling you into the image. A lot more foreground on AF background. Um, it's all about the textures and the you know the, the, the lines and the shapes and all, everything that's going on down here. Um, unfortunately, sunrise is now, and as you can see behind me, there's not a great deal going on in the sky. Um, but you never know, once it actually breaches a horizon line and comes above the hills, it might burn through something. But there's some different clouds forming, but otherwise it's looking pretty grey in front of us. Um, but yeah, the green seem to be breaking up the grey quite nicely. Uh, two second timer as normal. Um, F11 to give me a bit of depth in the image and uh, the histogram saying it's okay without any filters at the moment but if it gets a bit brighter I might have to pop one on um, and at the moment it's shooting at about eighth of a second um, so yeah we'll take that and uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> Darren's come running over, uh, he's going to have to make a move, his mum's poorly and they've been trying to get hold of him all night apparently, um, so he's going to do a runner, um, either that or I've scared him off, one of the two, no, but all said and done, he, he come down, he, he's made it, you know, he's come out and joined us, it's a bit of a shame he's got to run off, um, but yeah, it'd be sorely missed, but I know the other guys won't be because he's snoring, <laughs> sorry mate, but yeah, you kept him awake last night, you bugger, <laughs> hope your mum's alright anyway. Right, let's have a nose and see what Paul's doing, if I don't slip on my ass. Because this stuff's really slippy. What's he got for a composition? Let's have a nose. He used to be a big Nikon man. Talked me into talked me into changing all my kit. And now he's on to Fuji. Great, isn't it? It's the future. Oh, he's got a completely different angle than me. Just doing a pano. Oh, he's doing a pano. Uh, Ingleborough, yeah? Yeah. Again, Ingleborough, and then just sweeping. Sweeping round. Uh, just with the rocks in the foreground and uh, yeah, just round finishing to, round the to rocks here, just Very nice, to going for a full panel. So you know, when I do my panels, I always do it that way round and shoot as much as I can. Yeah, I'm going to swap to that soon. I'm getting this first. Get a big chunk in, yeah. big, great big chunk in. Twelve images to stitch. Oh, <laughs> twelve images, eh? He's bracketing as well, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Bit of work when he gets back. Paul's a pretty good photographer. He doesn't do vlogging and stuff. Um, but you're on Instagram, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's on Instagram. I'd like to say I'll put some links down below, but uh, he was one of my direct competitions when I was in the Crew Camera Club. So uh, it's quite good for him to be out. It uh, gives us a bit of an even challenge and see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure he'll beat me, and knowing what he's like, he's, yeah, he's very good. He likes his mono work. Right, shut up again. And uh, before I keep rambling and make this video about 25 minutes long again, uh, I'll shut up and wait for a little bit of colour up in the sky. sure if you can hear me or not which you should be able to from this distance but uh, as you've just seen I've just had a, another play with the camera I've moved it back a little bit further this time um, using a bit more leading because of the green leaves down in the bottom now I quite like the idea of the green line leading you through the image and it's coming from the bottom right hand corner leading you up into the center of the image and at the back of the center of the photo is the uh, big viaduct so very similar image as the first one but pretty much it's all you can do while you're here um, I'll probably stretch out, I might go a little bit further back and do a bit of a wider pano um, and try and bring in all this limestone if I can from the foreground and uh, it might blow out the back a little bit but it's quite an interesting shot because there's so much texture going on. Um, two second timer again, I was on F11, I focus stacked this one because I want to try and get the texture of these rocks, uh, which are pretty amazing, uh, try and get all the texture really sharp if possible. So I've done a four, four stone, my tongue's gone again, I've done a four 
image photo stack. So I started right at the foreground and just worked my way back through the image and then focused on the viaduct in the end. Uh, we've put them together and hopefully it'll come out quite sharp. Using the inspiration that Mike has just given me, um, I found this little green, whatever they are, leafy things uh, growing in between the rocks. And I've come down really low, as you can see, quite down, and down on my hands and knees, and uh, shooting down through the rocks. Um, I've focus stacked this one again. I think you've got to focus stack, um, you, you've got to get everything sharper. You can't just blur it out, it just doesn't work at all. Um, so I've taken another four images and stacked them all the way through and I've got the viaduct right at the top. Um, Mikey actually made his viaduct really small. I'll see if I can get the image off him and show you his. It's really quite nice, um, but I'm not into copying, um, even though I think his image is better than mine. Um, I've had a walk around and this is the best one I can find other than the one he's got there. Um, he's already got his name on that, but he put just a tiny sliver of the viaduct, which is really good because it just shows you where we are um, without making that the foreground, inter you know, the actual interest. The interest is actually the rocks he's got leading through. Um, but yeah, quite like this one. It's coming from the bottom left, leading you up into the image. And I like the rock that's in front of me. It's got two little lines, sort of almost like an arrowhead chucking you over to the viaduct. Um, the sky is real blare, blare, blare. There's nothing in the sky whatsoever apart from greyness. Um, I think Paul's shooting for monochrome. I don't know, because I like the greens in them. Um, I've not been doing as much mono these days as I, as I used to. Um, but yeah, not a bad little image, really. What's nice about uh, coming out of a group uh, of fellow photographers is that everyone sees things slightly differently um, and it's quite nice. Mikey's given me a little bit of inspiration this morning as I've just mentioned in the last image. He says had a walk around the top here and uh, he's oh, oh, always going. I'm like, oh, what, what have you seen? What have you seen? Because I sometimes forget to look a little bit closer. Um, I've mentioned before that I use, you know, I use all everything that's around me and I try and look and try and make the most of it. But with the vlogging, and people will probably agree with me, with the vlogging when you're doing the video as well as photographing and stuff like that, you sometimes lose it you get distracted by the video rather than the photo um, so yeah it's quite nice to be reminded that hang on a minute you're here to take a photograph um, so yeah I've come around here I've had a look at what Mikey was taking Mikey decided not to he decided it was too busy um, but I've come up quite high as you can see I've got the tripod I've, I'm sat on the edge of a rock here sort of balanced backwards um, but I just like this image in front of me um, you can't see it on the on, on the video um, but I'll show you the image in a moment but I just like the fact that you get this lovely sweep round there's a little tree just at the top and it's just an intimate bit of detail tucked underneath the rocks um, it's all about the greens and the textures again and this lovely little sweep um, I just I just like it I think it's really nice there's a few others around as well um, but you need to sort of home in on them there's some lovely little bits of browns appearing obviously because we're in October um, and everything's starting to turn the ferns are starting to change colour as well um, so yeah all in all not bad so far. I'm gonna to have to get down to the car though. Um, I have put on the post eight o'clock, half past eight meeting at the car park again. So I'm gonna sort of maybe pack up in a minute, go back to the car, go off and get Denise and uh, maybe go and get some sandwiches. We're heading back to the car, uh, going to go back and get Denise, because you're probably all wondering where she is. Where are you heading, Mikey? That's a good plan. I was just about to shout to you, we're coming in your direction. <laughs> um, he's just running over to get his bag, he's left it over there in the wilderness. Yeah, so we're going to head back to the car. Um, Denise is making us some sausage, but his bleh, sausage, but my lips have gone cold. It's very chilly, my hands have gone numb. <sighs> Don't know what happened there, but I think my memory card was full. So I've just had to delete a couple of old ones um, uh, uh, when we were at uh, the Lake District. So I'm back with you. Yeah, we're just heading back to the car. Uh, we're back on the path. It's going to take us probably a good half hour to get down to the car. So if there is anyone down there uh, waiting for us, I'm ever so sorry. I got sidetracked a little bit. Time just seems to run away of you. Um, yesterday he was saying about these grasses. The gra colour of these grasses are awesome. 
so we'll come up with a few of them later on so we're gonna go back to the car refresh ourselves go and get our gloves the temperature's quite cool so get the next layer out and uh, yeah hopefully if we're gonna meet up with someone else if not we'll get the wife and we're gonna go up that way we're gonna go and find a waterfall to play with and uh, see what we can make out of the rest of the rest of the, the rest of the day so if I do call it a quits here I'll say thanks for watching thanks for sticking with it I know it's a little one in the morning um, we've got the rest of the day to go um, but I do appreciate you sticking around and uh, if you leave us a comment below and maybe come and join us next time on one of the others so thanks for watching don't forget like and subscribe tell your friends see you again ciao for now Just got back to the cottage. Mike has run us up in the car and uh, yeah, Steve left his keys in the car all morning. So it's a good job we're in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Lady wife's waiting, look, here she is. Mrs. C's ready with her sausage butties. Let's cross this road. <laughs> if you come out with one of my toy play days, then you get fed as well. <laughs> Mally don't make you the sausage butties, does he? <laughs> Made in Cumbria. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I just said uh, goodbye back up on the on the fell over there, um, but I'm just going to just run through. We just had a, a bacon bat, well, sausage baps. Uh, good lady wife was nice enough to make them. We just popped up to pick her up. And we're going to head off up now to go and find some waterfalls. Um, but yeah. So yeah, like I said before, please, you know, come on the next one. I'm going to start a Facebook group up and the Facebook group, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be called Landscape Vlogtography Adventures. Um, so I'm going to start a group. I'm going to do more of this all over the country. We're going to find these nice little accommodations. This is a, a lovely little accommodation, uh, four bunk beds and a little double room. So I'm going to try and find some nice cheap accommodations so people can come up and have a, have a couple of nights or a night away without being out of pocket and uh, get up and do some early stuff and some late stuff. So yeah, thanks to Denise for doing the sandwiches and uh, we're going to catch up with you soon. So, like I said before, ciao.